श्रीमती सुप्रिया सुले जी थैंक यू सर आई स्टैंड हियर टू सपोर्ट द एनर्जी कॉन्जर्वेशन बिल सर सर दिस इज दिस एंटायर जर्नी ऑफ द एनर्जी इज अ लॉन्ग ड्रॉन जर्नी ग्लोबली and i appreciate all the inputs on friday made by the honorable minister where he talked about the mixed basket that you are creating i only seek a few clarifications from the honorable minister as a concerned citizen and as a concerned parliamentarian of this august house so there was a story in the newspaper last week i stand corrected it says that india has dropped its target of establishing 500 gigawatt of renewable capacity by 2030 giving itself a flexibility of 50% of power from non fossil fuel sources this is the commitment and the cabinet on wednesday approved sir that india's updated uh, ndc to communicated with the unfcc the updated ndc proposes about 50% cumulative electric power installed capacity from non fossil fuel based resources dropping 500 gigawatt absolute targeted committed at the cop 26 it also did not include the commitment of reducing 1 billion tons of carbon emissions this is what has come in the newspaper so i seek a clarification from the honorable minister that is this the factual situation and is what is the policy of the government sir because i am very concerned because i follow parliament very closely i have fortunate to enough to be here and to hear very illustrious uh, ministers speak exceptionally well and last few weeks during question hour when the house has functioned renewable energy has been talked about in a very positive manner but at the same time the coal ministry has also been very very energetic and enthused by the work they are doing they are talking about coal they are talking about the mines how well they are doing how much more generation has to be done ultra bug projects by the government so i humbly ask the government that what is the true policy of this government here you are going into mines and cones aggressively and telling how transparently it has been done which is wonderful eh? transparency is good for the nation sir but i think they are misleading the honorable prime minister because both the mantralayas are giving completely conflicting information because they are contradicting each other so i feel very very concerned so if you could kindly give me a clarification sir i come from a background of a rural and an urban constituency and actually this entire story energy started really from the sugar factories in maharashtra where renewable energy was really started and in the uh, objects and statements you have said that you are looking at green hydrogen green ammonia biomass ethanol which is all wonderful i'll seek a clarification on biomass from my little knowledge about i have very little knowledge on power but uh, i would like to ask seek a clarification that both my biomass has seen a lot of npas in investment that are lobbies globally sir for this kind of matter is what magazines and information says so what is the position of government of india on biomass because you've talked about this and somehow biomass has not delivered the superior results that we have seen like in ethanol so if you could kindly uh, clarify in the larger interest of the nation and the other point sir for solar we are all for solar we are very happy you are uh, you know working so much in solar i have to seek few clarifications from the honorable minister that in the land acquisition of solar plants you normally give one year to a project it takes 6 to 9 months to just acquire the land because it's thousands of acres that they need that to directly from the farmer it's so hard to do land acquisition so why doesn't government of india work closer with the states like we used to do for mdcs so why don't you use the mdc model for land acquisition this is just a suggestion to the government to improve the scheme because what happens is you give only one year or 18 months to the uh, person who's doing because in your own reply uh, last week in parliament you have said that most of the renewable energy projects in this country are done by private sector and developers select it through a transparent bidding process very good this government is very transparent we are very proud and compliment them on their thing but at the same time is the policy really helping the person who is putting his own money so land is a big challenge so what intervention will the government do to make sure that the land government helps like an midc something similar is that possible second during this covid time they have given a blanket extension to the wind mills which is a very good thing congratulations to the government so because of the supply chain distribution if in the renewable energies you have done given it to the players the investors of wind why not do it same to the solar 
they have been also been similar they are doing renewable energy so why is this step treatment given to solar i mean everybody should be treated everybody has been through challenges so why does solar not get the same is my question to the honorable minister another big policy intervention which i'd like to ask uh, the honorable minister this government initially was doing a great job in uh, all these uh, bids now in the last 6 to 8 months you have changed a small policy and this is purely from the newspaper i can table wherever i've got this information from when you get an l1 normally you give it to the l1 you all have started reverse bidding now because of that the viability becomes a big issue already he has delayed because of the land and the last 6 8 months most of this private developers and the reason i'm saying private because you yourself in your reply has said that all private people are only doing this business so it's not that i'm speaking for some private agency i'm going purely by the policy of the government and what is come in the question hour so what is your stand on this so will you between this l1 then what's the point of l1 if you are doing reverse bidding and the whole thing is the country is going to get affected the consumer is going to get affected so if you could clearly give me an answer on this policy thing and what happens sir in this reverse bidding i stand corrected please correct me if i'm wrong what happens is if it doesn't work out for the private it comes back to ntps which goes back to the government so then private players will say ki hum desh mein kare hum baad ja ke kare policy is more friendly so why are you pushing people who want to work in india away because of this one policy which is only come in the last eight months sir it wasn't there before so my request is if you could clarify it will be in the rajar interest of the nation and all the people who want to work with the government sir two three quick questions uh, even uh, adirda talked about rnd now you are talking about hydrogen in your very introductory speech you spoke very well about uh, green ammonia green hydrogen which is all sounded wonderful very encouraging but what is the rnd that this government is doing from the information that i have from a reply given by you the central assistant has consistently in 1819 was was 4414 in 1920 it was 3000 in 2021 2800 and 2022 it is 2328 so it is continuously coming down and your government has not reached a single target since it has come to power people talked about gst i won't go into that i sir i see you hinting at this just two three okay. very short points now this pm kusum scheme you haven't reached a target i am just reading through it quickly you said solar rooftop program in that you have only reached 15% so many programs of grid decentralization of solar program that has been stopped bio energy program stop small hydrogen program stop and the shortfall sir i'm just rushing through these points actually i would have liked to speak a little more for the total renewable energy of what this not even 60% target has achieved i'm not saying that why have you not achieved it but the whole thing is when the honorable minister opened he said 60 40 sir we all know that when there is renewable energy done we lose a lot in transportation the if about 100 is invested only 20% gets used of it so we do need that and what transmission and distribution what has this government done for transmission and distribution specifically of renewable energy you've invested so much money in making this renewable which is wonderful but what have you done same thing about carbon credit trading carbon credit trading is wonderful but it's all up in the air have you spoken to stakeholders have you consulted states have you consulted industry nothing from the best of my knowledge last small point sir uh, is about discoms in the morning he was a little upset about the honorable minister was slightly agitated because of what happened between us but sir this needs serious discussion why did government of india give money to states in that udayan scheme if if i i stand corrected they gave it to the states so that we would reach the last mile garib jo sochit hai pdf jo dur mein rehta hai gaon mein usko bijli mile uske liye aapne udaya scheme di states ko paisa diya जब दिया तब ऐसा नहीं कहा ये गरीब के लिए मैं दे रहा हूं स्टेट थॉट दैट वॉज अ स्कीम विच वॉज गिवन टू एनकरेज द पोअर पीपल सपोर्ट द स्टेट लोन मांगा हमने मांगा तो नहीं था आपने सामने से दिया स्टेट तो मांगने नहीं आई थी आपने किया बहुत अच्छी स्कीम है ले लो पैसा so if they gave the money they did not say it's a scheme now they are saying ki it is given no freebies allowed sir how will it work like that aap agar kisan ko bijli de rahe ho usme dikkat kya hai aur so see the double standards of this government sir which really pains all of us ki aap 6000 kisan ko do to it is allowed if the state gives free bijli to the kisan it's a freebie 
तो आप करो तो अच्छा हम करें तो सब बुरा okay. ऐसा नहीं हो सकता ना सो यू आर गिविंग सिक्स थाउजेंड टू वी आर हैप्पी वी कॉम्प्लीमेंट यू वी कंग्रेचुलेट यू अच्छी बात है मैं तो कहती छह का बारह करो बारह का अठारह करो कोई नहीं अच्छी बात है यू गिव इट इन देर अकाउंट बट वाई इज दिस गवर्नमेंट एंटी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ओनली इन द स्टेट सर इफ यू कुड काइंडली क्लैरिफाई ऑल दीज पॉइंट आई जस्ट लास्ट वन लाइन सर आई वुड जस्ट लाइक टू मेक अस्ट लास्ट पॉइंट आई कट ऑल माई अदर पॉइंट इज what government really needs to do is have a clear cut policy there is no they keep changing policies every few months that's why people are very anxious and we need a wind and solar storage hybrid model these you know models that we are working on are not going to work we need a hybrid model and that's what this government okay. needs to lead we are willing to work Shri with Rajiv them Prataplu but please give clear clarifications in the reply at policy level thank you sir dhanyawad sabhapati mahoday जब भी हो ना सर तो रोकना हो तो उसके 10 मिनट पहले हमको बता दीजिए